Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? So um, the tennis is still going on. Um, I thought today it was going to be a bit shorter because um, there's less matches, um, but the matches that I have watched have just been really long. But luckily I got up today, I got up at like, um, I think I woke up at half seven, went out the house, spent a good two to three hours out, which was nice, and then came back and started watching tennis from about half one. And I still got some work done as well in between. So a few of these matches, I've not watched all of it. I've just seen the um, results. So they've just updated to say, um, here we go <laughs> with the pronunciations. Krysikova, Krysikova, I think it is, or Krysikova, um, female from Czech Republic. She's just won her match against Danielle Collins of the USA. I've never heard of either of them, but they're obviously moving forward into the next round. This is week two. Um, we've only got a week left of tennis. Um, then the first match that I did watch today was Taylor Fritz versus Alexander Zverev from Germany. Um, Taylor Fritz from the USA. So that has been my best match that I've watched so far, men or women. So it went to five sets. Um, it was just, I've wrote too much. <laughs> I don't want another long video. I keep making these videos too long. All I've put, that's why I've put notes so that it's quick. I've just put it was an epic battle, great rallies, really entertaining. They were all over the court. Um, Zeverez, not, probably not pronouncing his name, took the first two sets. Then Fritz took the first set um, through the tie break. Then it went into a fourth set. And then I was switching over to other matches, then going back. And then it was still going on. And it was this match lasted three and a half hours. So it's been a long time since um, these type of matches. And then it was five um, set, the fifth set. And then there was just some quality tennis. To me, it's probably it's the best match I've watched um, so far this tournament. And in the end, Fritz won. And that was like a surprise because obviously he came in as the underdog. But that's what's been happening. I think the reason this tournament this year has been the best I've seen in a long time, even though Serena and uh, Venus are missing. Um, I think it's just because there's so many people that have been knocked out. There's so much like met people withdrawing with medical injuries. It's just all over the place. It's just like you're not expecting the things to happen that have happened. So that was that game. I gave that nine out of 10 because it was that good. Um, then I saw a little bit, not much of Alexan Alexander Domino. I think that's how you pronounce his name versus Arthur Fees. And um, Arthur Fees is from French um, France. Alex Domino is from I'm going to guess Australia. <laughs> I watched part of that ma um, match and then I switched over again. So all I saw in the clips, because I watched some of the reels in between, was um, lots of rap stars and lots of like um, all the young players, especially because Arthur Defees is from France. And there was I just saw uh, it was on mute because I was working, but I just saw all these rap stars and all these like apparently he's a big everyone like is um, supporting him. There's a lot of people on Instagram at the minute, lots of um, tennis players that are just getting lots of famous people that are like um, bigging them up and that sort of thing. But he lost anyway, but apparently he's someone to look out for. Then there was Svitolina, um, she's from, don't quote me, Ukraine, obviously, because she talks about, you know, um, playing for Ukraine, not just for herself, versus Yin Yu Wang from China. So Xin Yu Wang was the one that knocked out Emma Raducanu. I hope I get these things right because there's so much tennis, you've got to remember it all. Svitolina from Ukraine, I'm backing her to win now, the whole thing, because just how she plays, she's like a Terminator. It was like, it was one of the, <laughs> she doesn't show any emotion except afterwards in the interviews, she plays like just a robot but not in a bad way. She just, she's just dominate. She's just, I, li I like the way she plays. I mean, she's not like someone that you're gonna be saying, yeah, she's beautiful tennis and all this sort of stuff. She just gets on with it. She just business like, I mean, it took her six, two, six, one. It took her, I think she did it in an hour or something like that, but she's just there to play. She's not interested in anything else. She's not gonna be on Instagram dancing or, you know, um, she's not gonna be the minister of happiness like Ange Jabin, who like everyone loves, but at the end of the day, you've got a win. You know, you can do all the other stuff. You can have all the people signing the contracts with you, all the Instagram followers you like. But if you don't win tennis, then, you know, you're not really doing what you're there to do. So, yeah, um, it was just it was a, a, just a simple game, but she won. Then the fourth one was Elena Ribica, Rib, Ribikina, hopefully I've said that right, versus Kaliskaya. Now, Kaliskaya, Kalis, Kalinskaya, I think she's from... Where is she from? I don't know where she's from, so I'm not going to lie. 
uh, Alina's from Kazakhstan. She's originally Russian, but she switched to uh, play for Kazakhstan. I think she went to live there. She's another one that is just, you don't know what she's thinking. You doesn't show any emotion, just gets on with it. I just, I'd like this way of play. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's entertaining or like I'm gonna back those players and say, yeah, you know, they smile, they, uh, you know, pump up the crowd because they're not there to do that. Some of these like Eastern European players, they're just there to win and I think I respect that. You know, it is a bit like when you're watching the games, they're not as interesting because they're just a bit too clinical. Um, she's just like a robot again, but she's another one. I, I think it's going to be her and Svitolina in the final. That's what I'm predicting. Um, Kaz Kalinskaya retired due to injury, so that was a shame, but, um, you know, it couldn't be helped. She tried to keep going, but she couldn't. And then you've got Putin Saver. I think I've pronounced hers right. I'm trying to, what I've tried to do is try and listen to the commentators so that I've pronounced the names right. Versus Ostapenko now. Again, oh yes, yeah, sorry, can't rule Ostapenko out. Um, she, 75% hitting power, so that was her percentage, how hard her um, hitting was. Fast serves, powerful, strong, aggressive. I do like how she plays, even though she's another like Terminator type player. She's just really powerful, really strong. She doesn't give people a chance to like win or to think or anything. She just goes out there to win. And I like the fact that she's so dominant. I mean, she's scary, really. <laughs> Her tennis is really intimidating. Um, and she used to not be someone that people liked because she they said she had a bad attitude and she did used to get angry and that sort of thing. I've never minded her. I don't mind her. She has got a bad attitude. Well, she's changed her attitude because to be fair, in the after interview, she was smiling. She was all, I think she's had some like coaching because originally people were booing her and that sort of thing. But to me, she's a good player. She's very loud. I mean, she's another one of them grunters. Remember Serena? I can't remember her name. There's a few people from Germany, I think, I can't remember. There's a few where they used to be screaming and literally um, they were saying it was putting the um, players off and that sort of thing. She's really loud. She, it was quite a noisy game, but you know, that's like how sometimes people play. So it was one hour and eight minutes, six, two, six, three. So if you look at all of these people so far, they're all like dominating the game. They're all winning in quite in straight sets, most of them, or um, quite quickly. So it's going to be interesting. And the game that's going on at the minute, which I'm halfway through watching, but I've got food in the oven. <laughs> I've got Jackie potato in, so it takes time. Um, it's not that interesting, but Djokovic, you know, he's not the most interesting player to watch, same as Alcaraz. I know people like watching them. It's just it's just a game, isn't it? There's it's pretty standard. I've just put a pretty standard match. Nothing to shout about, nothing to like get excited about, but it's still tennis. You've got to have the different players. So you've got Hol uh, Holger Runa, I think, yeah, from Denmark. Um Djokovic won the first few games, he won the first set, and now it's like level where I've left it is it's three games all. The second set, I think Djokovic will win because sometimes it looks like he's going to lose, but then he always comes back and ends up winning. Um, you know, as I said, it's not anything to. It's there's they don't play memorable games. That's my opinion. Like Alcaraz, he has moments, and Djokovic they have moments. They're not Boris Becker, where you know you're thinking that even in the eighties you can remember him rolling all over the pitch, you can jumping over, doing all sorts, John McEnroe, that sort of thing. And even with the newer um, players, like I said, that game today with Fritz, um, he was just entertaining the crowd, but he was winning at the same time. Djokovic just wants to get it over and done with. Um, he's, I still like him, he's still one of my favourite tennis players, but I just think it, I always end up going and washing up or doing something in between. I'm not like fixated to the screen. So let's see what happens. So that's my day. Um, obviously, I'll continue to do these reviews throughout the um, week. I'll try and make them shorter if I can. Thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks for all of your comments and things, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.